Garden. And uh, where are you from, Garrett? Uh, Dundalk. Garrett, why are you here today? Uh, I'm here today because uh, the household tax for me and my family is a, it's a tax too much. It's, a, it's just it's just to start to look the comments back and just uh, between myself and my wife, we just said uh, it's time to get up off the sofa and just make a voice out because if we don't, we're just going to keep getting pounded down and pounded down. But the government's with the government that's not in touch with the people. Roy Macken. And where are you from, Roy? 25 Kilhane Street. Here in Dundalk? Yes. And uh, why are you here today, Roy? I'm here protesting with this household tax. I think starting off for £100 will probably end up with a thousand. And I have no intention of paying it. Good stuff. And uh, anything else, Roy, you want to get off your chest now while we're here? Yeah, I think uh, the, all these, Sean Fitzpatrick and all these fellas in the Anglo Irish Bank they should be taking the money of them and putting them in jail. That's why me and my wife here protest today with all the young people. Power to the people. I'm so irresponsible. I'm one of these people that the government is talking about being irresponsible. I don't have any debt. I don't have a second home. I have never taken out a loan I couldn't afford. So if that's called irresponsible, maybe I should be running the government instead of the lot that's there now. Robin. And uh, where are you from, Robin? Uh, from town here. See down. Okay. Robin, why are you here today? Uh, well, I feel pretty strongly about the household charge. Uh, the way I see it, it's the thin end of the wedge. And if, you get, if the government gets to the register for this, every time they're being squeezed by the IMF, they'll just add some new tax on. And once they have your details, they can just uh, take your money at source, whatever way you get it. Uh, would you stop acting as a middleman for the corporations and the speculators uh, and start acting as a representative of the vast majority of the people who you are trying to dispossess? So, uh, stop robbing us to pay the rich and stop robbing the rich to pay us. Yeah, my name is Wayne McInerney. And where are you from? From the Dalk, yeah. And uh, why are you here today, Wayne? Just to protest about uh, the extra charges the government though sticking on everybody not to pay them, especially this new uh, household charge. Good man. And uh, Wayne, you don't mind me asking, uh, are you going to pay the charge yourself? No, can't get blood out of a stone. Can't pay. Money's not there. My name is Finbar Murphy. And uh, where are you from, Finbar? I'm from Blackhawk, just outside Dundalk. I live um, in Dundalk now. Okay, and why are you here today, Finbar? I'm here today. Um, the household charge, I did a little bit of research, with quite a bit of research on it. And it is a scam for many, many different reasons, and it's not going to benefit the people of Dundalk or Ireland in any way at all. Uh, what we do know about it is that the money that was cut from the council this year is being replaced by the, the, by the household charge money. And basically that money that was cut from the councils has been sent directly to the IMF and to international bankers and the ECB. And so it's not going to in any way benefit Dundalk or Ireland. We're not going to have improved water systems. We're not going to have improved sewage systems. Now, another reason not to pay it is that people just don't have it. And we know that next year, as an example in Germany, it's 575 quid in some provinces just for the water per year. So we know next year the price is going to go through the roof in the following year as well. And people just can't afford it. So if it's a choice between your bread or sorting out international bankers, I would suggest that people go and buy their bread and they don't register for the household charge. Constitution, the common law, that the house order, the house, the house itself is not viable. Unless someone stabs somebody and runs into your house. Who was that fellow that was stopping the road? This chap who knows his name. What's his name? I think it was Bill Guilford or what, something like that. Bill, yeah, yeah, he's brilliant. Marvin, just really sad. The sheriff in the way with his tail between no, his legs. No, he was grand. Because he didn't want to stop him. He wasn't the sheriff, he was the deputy. He was. <laughs> and he didn't shoot him. And he didn't shoot him. That's good. <laughs> I hope you got that. I've always loved the going cold. <laughs> For the second week in a row, we won't. But it's so important to think of the little people in this. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I send you with some crabs and cappuccino? Oh, let the, ah! oh, oh, let the, let the, let the wheat cake. Let, let the wheat cake. Oh, the stale one. The stale one. That's the one with the cream in it. Oh, oh some sweet yeah. bread. <laughs> <laughs>